All right, and let's go ahead and get started. Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shark and Bear, and welcome to the channel where today we're picking up where we left off on our last Epoch playthrough as our uh, fabled falconer that we're trying to play. In our last episode, we managed to make it quite far into the desert of Majelka. Uh, we are still on our way to the capital, uh, past Majelka, to get to the Emperor and get to the root of what's caused basically the ruin at the end of the time. Uh, but essentially we've come back to the, the, the beaches of Majelka, if only because of the fact that we have a quest sitting over here, and I desperately would like to see how we can get this resolved. Uh, also, I've done a little bit retuning about how I did some of my skills. I am using net right now. I've decided to specialize in that, uh, mostly because I like the idea of using a net and then throwing caltrops down. That seems pretty fun. Uh, so that being said, if you like the content and you want to see more than the last Epoch playthrough, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. As always, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, as always. And we are jumping into it. And I gotta be honest, I really like this Caltrop thing. It's probably not very efficient at all, but it is fun. Uh, there is even a note I'm thinking about taking that'll reduce... Or it removes the backflip, which is sad. Uh, it sure is. But uh, it does drop Caltrops every time I do that. And uh, it essentially has almost no um, cooldown on it already, which is kind of funny. So, anyways, yeah, with that being said, looks like we are managing to take out everyone uh, fairly easy here. I mean, we should, after all. Everybody is much weaker than us. We've came, come back to an older area i mean not too much older uh but you know we've already done all this most of the part uh but you know maybe that doesn't make so much sense when i consider that we haven't actually had access to this area at all so we'll see Let's see um still looking for upgrades for ourselves but we're still pretty good i believe I do like that we can throw our explosive trap up there. That's pretty nice. And I have opted to actually go for the version of this that is going to fling uh, explosive traps at our enemies. That just seems too much uh, fun for me to pass up on. I'm going to be using shift more while we're using. You know, like when we have it equipped. Wow, that guy was, you know, on his own, wasn't he? and maintaining our mobility though we just need to keep on moving one of the cool things we'll have with that uh, soon enough uh, for us is uh, the ability to actually cause frailty through net which seems pretty good I assume that just means enemies are going to take a crap ton more damage Cool, cool, cool. Looks like we have something here. Let me activate this bridge. He is taking all the damage via our uh, Caltrops. Which is nice. We'll just lay these down for him. Oh, what just happened? What happened to us? Oh, okay. I guess that was supposed to happen. Uh, we now have a person here willing to... Oh, this is my stash. You, you're not like the abominations outside. Tell me, are you from the past as well? Yes. If a human wandered here, then the fabric of time must be uh, growing even weaker. Julra, what have you done? Julra? Chronomancer Julra, the leader of the Temporal Sanctum. She has gone mad. Her experiments with the Eternity Cache have brought ruin to us all. Now I'm trapped here in the ruined future, locked out from the Sanctum. If only I could find a key. A key? Yes, despite the centuries of decay, Temporal Sanctum has faced in the era. The door to its halls still holds fast. 
Unless Jeweler's experiments have sent versions of the key to the far corners of the various timelines, we are both trapped here, out here. If I found a key, would you leave here? No, perhaps this is for the best. There's a certain nobility in paying for my contributions to this disaster by standing guard, ready to warn humans who have wandered here. Farewell. Uh, so it looks like Tampro taking them each attempt in the dungeon requires a key. Dying or leaving through a portal fails the attempt. We don't have a key. Where do these gloves come from? Did we have these gloves the whole time? Um. Yes, I think we did, actually, because I didn't want to give them up because of the uh, minion damage we have on our gloves already. So if I hit this, looks like we have a side quest here. Retrieve the Sapphire Tablet. So why couldn't I tra retrieve the Sapphire Tablet? See, we're in here. Okay, so it teleported us before we could get it. But now we can. There we go. Take the Sapphire Tablet. The sa Sapphire Tablet is nestled into a macabre shrine uh, made by the uh, Void Twisted Husk. It appears to be intact. So we'll go ahead and take that. Return to the Shrine Maiden in the Oracle's abode. I will go ahead and pick up all of these first. And that's the Temporal Sanctum. Okay, so for whatever reason, it just kicked us in there without us actually clicking on the door. Luckily, we were able to go back because there is a fast travel point right here. So that's nice. Uh, we'll go here and uh, Oracle's abode. And then we'll head on back to where we were before. Uh, I believe we were looking for Yulia's Sanctum, essentially, and she was going to help us get into the capital. Ah, yes. Show her the Sapphire Tablet. And we got a passive point for that, plus three idle slots, which is nice. Oh, yes, that matches the text exactly. Once we learn how to use it, we'll be able to purify enough water to last weeks. I'll take it from here. I've held you up long enough. We might not be able to fight, but now we can sneak through the city and retrieve water. All thanks to you. Be careful out there. All Make right. Sure I like it whenever we get uh, passive perk points. And we are literally one away from getting our next major ability, which is Aerial Assault. Uh, I am probably going to do away with our Smoke Shroud whenever we get that. And then we're going to jump here and then find our way to Yulia. So we should be in the lower sewers. And we need to go to the Baron Aqueduct. So we have a couple places we go, but we'll start off by going to the lower sewers. I also not decide, I've also decided not to use a webcam today, mostly because, uh, number one, I do not feel that great. Had a right. kind of a weird night. I think we're far enough. I'm willing and to I, take her I managed to take word. a nap was longer than I intended to. Words I'll use my there should be some we'll go ahead and ahead. pass all of that. Uh just so we can get in. Plus, we've read all that before, before we logged off. And we're just gonna truck it. I love the idea of dropping Caltrops everywhere. I do love that. There's just bonus damage everywhere. Such a nice little backflip, too. Alright, we got a shrine? Actually, I didn't see what shrine we have. Reflective shrine, okay. I love that. That's such a cool little backflip whenever you're doing that.
Things seem to work much better uh, mana efficiently as well. Looks like we have a point already to also use in our uh, net. Can I just click on this? Yeah. And we'll go ahead and take the point in. Frailty. There we go. That guy just fell over. <laughs> he won a fight. I don't even think he's dead. I think he literally just like, I ain't fighting that. I heard all the death noises coming from the end of the hall. We got another shrine up here. What shrine is this? Shrine of shards. Nice. I can do another shrine of shards. And I believe that's enough to get us our aerial assault if I uh, can be stand uh, as true. Let's see. Let's go ahead and. Oh, what do I want to take? Let me see something real quick. Okay. Your Falcon does more global damage. Nets cannot be dodged. I like that one. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and unspecialize. Actually, let's look at our passes first. Make sure I'm not going to be a fool here. There we go. We get Aerial Assault. And I am going to go ahead and swap this one out. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and specialize that. So, uh, respec, despecialize skill. Yep. And we're going to make our Aerial Assault the thing that we use. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, take that. Let's see where else we want to go. Has a shorter cooldown. I like the sound of that. Uh, wing burst hit frailty. We're not doing that. Portion of your, uh, portion of your added increase in more throwing. Okay. Creates a shadow. That's pretty nice. Um, directly using aerial sword recovers a portion of the remaining cooldown of Valkyrie and dive bomb. That sounds pretty good. Directly using aerial sword recovers a portion of your missing mana. Also nice. All right, I think we're gonna be heading down this way. Yeah. So I'm very excited about this. This is one of the, our big major skills we've been waiting for. And only a couple more levels until we get the dive bomb, which is going to be really nice for us as well. Since that's like one of the core, you know, we'll have all of our falconry abilities. Miss that. This things are dying too fast. It's gonna take me a while to have to like get used to some of the stuff. But I like it. We're just doing all sorts of flips. We're very mobile. Oh, we got a shrine over here. Can't miss out on that. Oh, yeah. Definitely can't uh, give up on that. 
What is this in this direction? What is this door? The fractured drain? Where's the fractured drain lead? It's not even on the map. What is this? We're like off the side of the map. We're wasting that XP buff, but I need to know what this is. Turn back. There's nothing for you here. We wondered the Ospreks left this place alone. We assumed they were superstitious fools, but we were wrong. Something ancient took root in every man who stepped into that chamber. Something that yearned for oblivion. I am the only one left who hasn't forsaken the Emperor's grip. Uh, I can still hear it whispering in the darkness. Perfect and peaceful. Emperor, forgive me. I don't know how much longer I can resist. Well, now we definitely gotta go in here. What is all this stuff? It's just a... It's just a hole in the wall. Attunement shards? Uh, nothing else. Like, nothing else in here. At all. I wonder if, like, in a different timeline this is something. Weird. Nothing down here, either. Alright. It's kind of odd. I think I'm actually going to swap this, though. Let's, uh, I feel like this needed to be swapped for a while. I'm going to try this out. Okay, that real fast. Okay, I actually liking the uh, the swapping those two skills. I owe my life ten I times over my now. Life. I think I'll take a break from scouting. Just like that? Just like that. For one, they nearly tore me apart. Also, my knowledge of the Citadel stops here. What do we do now? Here I was, hoping this would lead us closer. <sighs> We might have no choice but to chat. Let's go. All right, so we gotta find the Necropolis of the Deep next. Luckily for us, it looks like we have a waypoint here, and it, we're not too far off from where our objective says. Oh, we got another little chest thingy over here, too. I'm good with that. Oh, I see. That's probably why we're taking so much damage, so... All the poison on the ground. All this mobility, though.
experimental sash of stamina. Don't do more too much poison, but all these extra shards here will be handy. Uh, none of that stuff is there is good either. I'm still kind of getting used to the buttons for swapping those two skills, uh, but I like it. Oh, we got some new skill points too. So we can do with this. Uh, did they all die? They all died. Good job, Birdo. Let's see. I don't feel like there's enough blades going out on that one, but could be wrong. More money. We have such an open area over here too, so maybe some of these other areas will have more uh, stuff for us to pilfer. Forty-two. That's nice. That means we got another skill point to use in our passive tree, and we are at Yulia's Haven. So we have a number of things to spend here in a short amount of time. We've only been pay playing for about twenty minutes. Gain two levels. Gain a new skill. Hell yeah! Uh, as far as these go, I'm gonna keep on putting points into here, and we are just four more points away from dive bomb. Uh, what are we? What level? Fifty in order to get this one. Maybe you should have held off on net to get that. But you know, honestly. Eight points, not so bad, I guess, to wait for that last specialization slot. Um, but can't take a look at this, though. Um, let's see. What do I want to do here? Probably either this or this effect is tripled for Falcon Strikes. I think I want to do that one. And then from this one, I want to go ahead and grab. I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. Was that all of them? Uh, no, it was not. Uh, we will go ahead and grab, I believe. Put a point in that. We'll put two points in this. And for net, do that. Are these enemies? They are not enemies. They're just floating spirits. You've made it. I am Yulia. Once I was High Priestess of the Empire, but no longer. Centuries of cruelty will do that. What did you call on me? Because I need your help. In regards to the Citadel, I've cleared a path, but there are still defenses. You will have to take them out. From there, you will find an entrance to the sewers. That is the only way through, and it's also patrolled. Why is that the safer path? I've disposed of some soldiers there. The stench hides the death. The heart of the Citadel is beyond. There is an exit near the Emperor's throne, giving you a chance to strike. All right, well, let's get started. Oh, I'm glad we have a chance to rest. Me too. Seriously, you usually put on a strong face before you saved me from the Ospreys. Their leader was with them. My ring, the one you brought back from the girl, 
He took it. Melted it in front of my eyes. When he heard you coming, he fled. I'm too hurt to go after him. But how about bringing me that coward's head? He's as good as dead. When he fled, I saw him heading deeper into the mountains. When you find time, you could take a peek at his nest. I could. Let's see. What has he got to sell here? Anything of a uh, worthy note? Uh, none of this stuff. Mute rod of freezing. I don't really care for any of these particular items. Let's go ahead and transfer everything that we have. This is like yellow and blue. I need to know what the colors mean as far as like rarity goes and stuff. Uh, because clearly I do not know. Um, go ahead and sell that. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep that one. Uh, everything else can stay for the moment. Time being, I am considering though re-rolling to see if we oh we can actually re-roll the shop. So never mind that. Uh, Twenty armor, mana regen, twenty-nine percent increased mana minion damage. Uh, ward on use. No, I think we're good. What is back here in the back of the room? It looks like we have another side quest over here as well. Or at least it tells me. Okay, so there's a door over here. Nest of the Fallen. Okay, so this is the path that Ulrich wants to take us for this guy. I really like that splash art. It's not a, not a very heavy trafficked enemy area, is it? Dead in over here. That's fine. Easy peasy. Is that a chest? Yeah, that's a chest. Okay. Sometimes it's really hard to see the chest in this game, I think. And we're almost at our target already. Damn. Was that it? Man, that guy uh, went down really easy. I didn't even know that he was the main culprit because uh, I wasn't even focusing him. Anything else to be had down here at the end of the way? Or are these dead ends? Gotta be something down here. You can just be a long ass hallway for nothing. There's a chest, some idols, some shards. I would say that's a win. But what about this other way that we can go down from?
This is a long path. Like a very long path. There better be something down here. Well, we got a treasure chest. I was hoping for maybe like a rare treasure chest, but I guess that'll do. Uh, actually, this ring is not too terrible. We'll compare it to the other ring we have. Because the one that we just compared it to is not a great comparison. Uh, so let's see. Uh, is there a way to... So this one's freeze rate, health, throwing damage. 36% increased minion damage and health. Crit multiplier. 34 and 26. 13%. So, not really the upgrade I thought it was going to be. Uh, physical penetration while wielding a dagger increased damage of use of a uh, shadow. Oh, she's using shadows. Got it. Uh, no. No, 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 no. All right, so we'll go ahead and head on back to Yulia's. Turn this quest into Ulrich, and we'll keep on working our way towards the Emperor's. Also, look at these skills. Cool. Is that it? There's no, there's another one. Okay, there we go. It's gonna us a while to get back to Yulia's. I'm gonna walk there and see if I can get there faster by this. My god, I hope not. Oh, so Shift and uh, Falconry, not Falconry, Aerial Ace are on uh, the same cooldown. So maybe I wanna swap out. Whenever we get a dive bomb, we'll swap it out for uh, you killed him? that. Good. I know it's vindictive, but that ring meant a lot. Who was she to you? Her? Just a poor girl who cares too much for someone who can't return her feelings. If we pull this off, maybe I can give her some good news for once, eh? Of course. And like that, we got another perk point. Oh, that's exciting. Go ahead and max that out right there. And one step closer to being able to get our final skill. It was for whatever reason, it was that one area that was causing any sort of problem. Demolish that dude. So I feel like we're finally getting to the, the meat and bones of our abilities now. Oh, uh, was he stunning shrine? Nothing in there. And I am heading south this other way because I want to see if we get some uh, other stuff. It doesn't look like there's any. Ch oh, we got a couple chests here actually. Ooh, fancy ring. Tongue of the Aberrant Seer. 39% uh, chance to poison the spell hit, plus one to poison spells. So, not a ring for us, but still a nice ring. Oh my god, that belt is amazing. Alright, that's our new belt. Another 58% increased uh, in, uh, what should we call it? Um, minion damage. That actually makes me now want to swap off for um, uh, one of the things that we saw that we weren't going to put on because it got rid of minion damage. Was it these gloves? Am I even this gloves? 
Well, hold off. That's still, that's an insane uh, thing right there because minion wise, we're not doing 202% additional minion damage. That is a nice ass belt. Umbral. Manifesting a sac uh, sacred strike. I don't know anything about that. Ranger's heavy quiver of lethargy. Um. It's been a while since we had anything, and this one increases, uh. Yeah, I know. We're going to take that. That seems like a pretty solid upgrade. I'm good with all of that. Now we can make our way out of here, and we should be uh, the entrance to the the sewers, right? So there we go. I don't know why that gate stayed there for so long. Looks like we have a couple of things. We gotta destroy the Imperial Watch. Um, let's see. No, no, I don't think I will. He did. Um, oh my god, that's actually, like, legitimately an up- well, that's defensive upgrade. Damn. Why is everything- why- the armor is fantastic, everything else was terrible. Assassin's bow, recurve of wounds. Um, I'll take that. I we're actually starting to see like that's another set of armor that is actually pretty good, but it's not what I would like. I don't desire for shadow skills. Vitality's not bad. Armor's not bad. This actually gives us a lot of armor. Um, we're losing on. A lot of mana and dexterity. I'll pick it up. On the off chance that something can be done with it. I'm really hoping we can find an actual chest piece that is somewhat relevant to what we need it for. Easy. Too easy.
We're so mobile, I love it. We're doing all sorts of flips and kicks and shit. And getting a whole bunch of XP while we're at it. Looks like we have another shrine down here. I can be all for that. What kind of shrine is this? Beekeeper shrine. Oh, we literally get bees. Bees? Nice. Okay. I didn't even know there was a bee shrine in here. What a weird shrine to have. I'm not complaining about that. It's kind of cool. Never heard of a bee shrine in the game before. Now we're officially at the Immortal Summit. I believe that's the one right before the Immortal Citadel. Yes, it is. And since we're here, might as well go ahead and toss a couple points here and there at the different things. Let me make sure I'm doing my stuff right. Let's see. Put one point there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for this. Yeah, okay. Uh, so for this one, let's see what I want to do here. I think I'm going to go ahead and... You know, we'll go ahead and do impact trigger. And then from here, we'll go ahead and smack... We got two points here. Oh, we got to put uh, two points in here for this one. Do that. And then, uh, net. There you go. Oh, wait. Um. Let me see where I'm looking at on my passive tree. And we have dive bomb. We have all of our skills. Nice. So now I'm going to go ahead and... What I'm going to do is actually replace... That with this, and then we'll have Dive Bomb here. And now we have all of our active abilities. That's going to take me a while to get used to. Uh, dive Bomb is a very slow skill. I got to get used to that. Yeah, that's definitely a, definitely a weird one. But highly mobile, that is, that is, there's no denying that. I wonder how much more different this would be if we actually had 
Because I'm assuming that was one of the parts of the uh, the trees that becomes more of an instant hit. I used to say that skill is, it does seem like it does a, a good decent bit of damage. Oh! Wow, we actually got an idol that uh, does more minion damage. What was that? Uh, but it looks like it's way too large. It's four segments large. Increases both elemental damage, increases physical damage, and an 18% minion physical damage. So that's definitely one we want to equip, but we don't have the idol space for it, even if we try to make room for it. Because I don't think you can rotate them, can you? No, you cannot. It doesn't look like there's any any way to rotate idols in your hand. It's so not all left. What we really need to focus on is getting the uh, last specialization slot at fifty. Okay, that that just that just gets silly. That just gets silly. And now we're inside the citadel. Yeah, that's a hell yeah. The immortal emperor. Uh huh this is probably my biggest hit yet expecting you. <laughs> do not look surprised a proper welcome is the least I can do yeah I believe Yulia was probably turned on us you should have seen this coming you know how the Emperor operates he would not simply let you go what yes and now your friend will watch Frozen in magic, <clears throat> while the Emperor decides your fate. We trusted you, Yulia. I've heard of your power. Let's see how you fix this. Enough! Come on. Not happening. So they just make us fight the other two bosses that we've already fought before. was super easy we just kind of melted through them i don't really feel like we were in any danger at any point in time now's our chance quick use hero's lance whose side are you on you pathetic human mistake you think you can kill me you think you can The Lance of Hirot. Where is it? Quickly! You need to get out of here! 
Do we know what Herof's lance was? Was that part of the thing? Because I kind of feel like I had no idea what she was talking about. Might of the gods. Alright, so we're in chapter 7 now. Looks like we are in a different version of the iron, uh, the immortal uh, citadel there. Uh, let's go ahead and put another point in here. Well, and just kind of assumed we knew exactly what she was talking about, didn't she? Kind of put a point in there. Leave the chamber and examine your surroundings. We're back in the Divine Era, too. So we're not even in the Imperial Era anymore. Oh, gods, where am I now? Wait, is that smoke in the distance? I best be careful. Oh! I don't know why, but that looks like a, a more gold color than I'm used to seeing. Or maybe it's because everything's so sunny. No, these are something different. Weaver's Will, Swaddling of the Erased. 10 armor, 8 mana. 15% uh, more melee damage to high health targets. 15% more, more to low health targets. 7% uh, increased attack speed and cast speed. I don't know if those are good at all. They... They seem kind of really low stat, but I've never seen anything that the uh, Weaver's Will. Is that what it said on there? I guess it's something we'll have to check out here in a little bit. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Increased minion damage shard, thank you for the door. What the? What killed us so hard? I mean, that was, <laughs> that was literally one hit. All right, well, luckily we didn't have to backtrack too terribly far to get there. Uh, apparently, whatever it was, it, it died too, so I'm not going to really concern myself with that too terribly. Dog really wants, uh, or that tiger really wants to fight. We'll get him before he gets us, though. That one there. I think the mailman's here. I can hear my dogs barking in the background. Sorry if you guys can hear that. Should end temporarily. Why is there a haste thing there? There we go. The Burning Forest. Make your way uh, past the forces of Solarum. Oh, well. Can't hit that guy. Maybe he's on our team.
not good stand uh, stood a uh, no chance uh increased physical damage eight uh physical damage yeah we're fine i think we're better off with what we have Destroy that entire uh, platoon's entire afternoon. Just throw all this flame over here. Stunning shrine. I'm going to pick that up. I got dead. He needs to stop coming back. He'll feel much better about himself if he keeps on uh, not getting his ass stomped in. Survive the battle between Rhea and Hieron. Oh, so we actually get to see like the elemental forces. Uh, hello, my dude. Submit. You are no longer worthy. Be gone from this land. My flames will scour this place. So be it. My bird can take that bird. Perish. Pathetic. He didn't die. I do not have much longer is that you no sorry that fragment you have i do not know what you've seen but please do not let Rhea destroy my people yes i am him the lance my lance is the only way that can harm Rhea. yulia i can sense her she's coming soon she and grail my champion will help you yulia really yes do you know her in a sense go to her we do not have much time we must retrieve the lance i'll go once go north so uh grail lance. we know that guy Put your weapons a war between the gods Herot, my lord who is this i can't hear you are you yulia and who are you Herot told me to find you to find the lance did he now fine yes i am yulia chieftain of the heoborian tribe heoborian like Herot? one and the same here come we have much to discuss you should know Herot seems injured I sensed as much when he failed to answer back. Hierot will die once he lets go of this world. If he tasked you to find the lance, then it seems our situation is grave. Here, come. We have much to discuss. Great, lead the way. And she just kind of disappears. Oh, I like that splash art as well. Moose Centaur. We don't have much time. We need the Lance of Herot. What is the Lance of Herot? The Lance is cursed from misfortune. It lies deep in far wood, hidden away. We will have to speak to nomads, which is... unfortunate. We do not have a strong alliance. Do you trust me to talk to them? Perhaps. I sense a familiarity between you and Herot whenever we speak. He trusts you for some reason. It is not my place to question. Though I will not lie and claim I have no reservations, you are not one of us. I promise I'm your, on your side. Then pray my reservations are unfounded. You will speak to the nomads. With their help, we will reach Farwood soon. What happens after we gain their aid? They will reveal the path to Herod's temple. I will head west to speak with the nomads. Alright, and like that, we have... Got the next step to our journey. <clears throat> we can also look to inspect this. 
Oh, cool. We got a passive from our aerial attack. And uh, we also have a side quest over here we can pick up. Yes? Finally, someone can help me. Please, my grandchild. He's sick. I'm not. It's not safe for anyone in the tribe to go and gather ingredients, but you seem accustomed to the wilds. Do you think you can help us make a cure? I'll see what I can do. All right, so now we have like a new little task here. We can go to... So we need to go to the Wenagari Fortress. Uh, we also have to take out these other two quests. Looks like we can head north to the Tundron for the Heoboran Cure. And then cut over to the Ice Caverns. And still find our way to make the path to the Nomad Camp in the Heoboran Cure. Okay, so it's got like three steps here. Uh, but that being said, I think we're at probably a pretty good point to go ahead and call it in for this episode. We'll end it right here just at about an hour. Uh, that being said, if you like the content and you want to see more of the last Epoch playthrough, uh, feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you think of the game and if you are planning to pick it up for yourself. Have you been enjoying it? If you already picked it up and all sorts of good jazz. That being said, you guys take care and I will catch you all in the next video. Later.